Nicole here and this might be the fastest how-to we've done yet. In the last episode, we took a look at how to install the Shockwave in our Atlas 4.0. So today, we're gonna take a look at how to pair it to our device. We're gonna use the Atlas 4.0 Fenrir Edition once more, but I'm still gonna use the Shockwave box cap as my helmet base. So let's take a quick look at the Shockwave interface. So on each side, we have the volume up and volume down buttons. We have the Type-C connection for charging the shockwave, the power on and off button, as well as a reset button. So in order to get into pairing mode, we need to hold the power button for about five seconds. So one, two, three, four, five. And as you can see, it will start blinking between blue and red and this means it's in pairing mode. So all we have to do now is go to our device and go to the Bluetooth settings, and within it, we should find Rurok Atlas Shockwave Audio. We simply tap on it, and now we are connected to our Shockwave. As you can see, the blinking lights are gone, and now we're good to use the Shockwave, whether it is to listen to music, make a few phone calls, even link to the chain app with other riders. As always, if you have any questions, make sure to reach out to our customer support team. They're always there to help out, and check out the rest of the Atlas 4.0 how-tos on the channel. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, stay awesome and ride safely.